hope you all are having a really great day so far. I'm Arita Hug and today I'm back with another English lesson. And today we will be learning about adjectives. So without any further delay, let's just get started. So today we will be learning about adjectives. So at very first we need to know what an adjective is. So an adjective describes a person, an animal, a plant or a thing that tells us about one of its qualities. An adjective usually comes before a noun or after the verb to be. For example, an attractive lady walked into the room and caught everyone's attention. In this sentence, the word attractive is the adjective and the word lady is the noun subject. So as I've mentioned before that an adjective usually sits before a, a noun subject or after the verb to be. So in this case the adjective is before the noun subject. In this example you can see I've written my aunt is attractive and this this is the to be verb in this sentence so as I've mentioned that it usually uh, an adjective can usually come after the to be verb so the adjective is attractive and it's at after the to be verb so when we use two or more adjectives from different groups before a noun we follow this order okay I'm repeating when we use two or more adjectives be from different groups before a noun we follow this order so you can see that uh, first we have the adjective of like quality so in case of quality there is like brave expensive important rare and next moving on to size so size can be enormous, huge, petite, and small. And about the age, the age can be modern age, new, old, or young. And adjectives in case of uh, shapes, oblong, round, square, triangular. Moving on to the number five, which is color. It can be crimson, dark blue, light blue, white, pink, anything. And there are two more uh, in this order and I'm really sorry because they couldn't fit in in my board so I'm gonna write them now okay the rest of the two in the order six and seven are nationality and material so in case of nationality it can be anything like African Bangladeshi American French or anything and in case of material um, it can be cotton iron jade wooden so you see in this entire um, list uh, from one to seven uh, each of the words are describing something for example um, i want to buy um, this expensive box what is the box the box is really expensive so the word expensive is describing the box for example if i say that that, that girl is really pretty so the word pretty is describing the girl. How is the girl? The girl is really pretty. So, he, you know, that is what an adjective does. It actually describes a person, an animal, a thing, or anything. It's a descriptive word. Now, we will be going through some really important points which we have to keep in mind. For example, um, when we use adjectives from different groups together, before a noun, we do not use a comma or and. I'm repeating, when we use adjectives from different groups together, before a noun, we do not use a comma or and. For example, I bought a pretty pink cotton dress. Here, we are using adjectives from different groups. And that is why we will not use a comma or and. Moving on, when we use two quality adjectives together, 
when we use two quality adjectives together, we use a comma or and. I'm repeating, when we use two quality adjectives together, we will or we can use a comma or and. For example, after a long comma tiring journey, we rested a while. Here we have used a comma because we are using two quality adjectives together. Another example with and. After a long and tiring journey, we rested a while. So that is what we need to always keep in mind. All right, so when we use two color adjectives before a noun or after the verb to be, we use and between them. When we use more than two color adjectives together, we use both a comma and and. I'm repeating, when we use two color adjectives before a noun or after the verb to be, we use and between them. When we use more than two color adjectives together, we, both, we use both a comma and and. For example, the yellow and crimson shawl is mine. The, ye the word yellow is a c an adjective of color and also the word crimson and that is why we used and between them. As I have mentioned, when we use two color adjectives before a noun, the noun is the shawl, before a noun or after the verb to be, we use and between them. So that is what exactly I have done in here. Another example would be the yellow, comma, crimson and beige shawl is mine. Here you can see three color adjectives. As I've mentioned, when we use more than two color adjectives, here are three. When we use more than two color adjectives together, we use both a comma and an and. So here, as you can see, the yellow, comma, crimson, and beige shawl is mine. All right, now we will learn about adjectives of comparison. When we use, when we compare two nouns, we use comparative adjectives. Now, for example, the adjective funny. So Jeff's cartoon cartoons are funnier than Tom's. Funnier. So we are comparing Jeff's cartoons with Tom's cartoons. So that is why I'm saying that Tom's cartoons may be funny but Jeff's are funnier. And this is what is called a comparative adjective. Moving on, when we compare more than two nouns, like here we have compared two nouns, Jeff and Tom, but when we compare more than two nouns, um, we use superlative adjectives. For example, all right, so in case of superlative adjectives, I'm saying that Anne's cartoons are the funniest of the three. But before, in case of the comparative adjective, I said that Jeff's cartoons are funnier than Tom's. But in this case, in this case, I'm saying that Anne's cartoons are the funniest of the three means are the funniest of Jeff's and Tom's among those three it's the funniest so yes with one syllable adjectives and some two syllable adjectives we use ER and EST endings for their comparative and superlative forms mostly we use ER in case of the comparative forms and we use EST in case of the superlative forms I'm repeating, with one syllable adjectives and some two syllable adjectives, we usually use ER and EST endings for their comparative and superlative forms. For example, dark. That pair of sunglasses has a darker tint than his pair. That pair of sunglasses has a darker tint than his pair. Here is the darker is representing the comparative form. 
The pair of sunglasses in the window has the darkest tint among the three. The pair of sunglasses in the window has the darkest tint among the three. Darkest is representing the superlative form. Another vital point is with some two syllable adjectives, adjectives of three or more syllables and adjectives ending in F-U-L, we use more and most for their comparative and superlative forms. I'm repeating with some two syllable adjectives, adjectives of three or more syllables and adjectives ending in F-U-L, we use more and most for their comparative and superlative forms. For example, James is more nervous than me about our exam. This is the, for the uh, comparative form. Sue is the most nervous in our group about our exam results. So you can see I've used more in here for the comparative form and most for the superlative form. Still. All right. So when we want to show that two people or things are equal in comparison, we use as dash as with the adjective in between. Like here should be the adjective. I'm repeating, when we want to show that two people or things are equal in comparison, we use as dash as with the adjective in between. We can use not before as dash as instead of comparative adjectives to show the two people or things are unequal in comparison. We can use not before as dash as instead of comparative adjectives to show that two people or things are unequal in comparison. So for example, Jimmy is as tall as Richard. So here we can um, see that um, we are using as tall as to show that they are equal because we have used as tall as Richard. So Jimmy and Richard both are equal in case of height. Another example is Ken is not as tall as Jimmy. Ken is not as tall as Jimmy. So in here we can see that Ken and Jimmy are not equal uh, or unequal in case of height. So, moving on to another very important point, which is we also use a comparative adjective when we want to compare changes in the subject of the sentence through time. I'm repeating, we also use a comparative adjective when we want to compare changes in the subject of the sentence through time. For example, Start. your baby brother is more active now than before. Your baby brother is more active now than before. In here, we can see the change through time. More active than before. And baby brother is the subject in this sentence. So by this example, I hope you all can clearly understand what I'm trying to say. Thank you so much everyone for watching my video so patiently. I really hope you enjoyed it and it was wonderful learning with you all today. Thank you.